Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 11 in our 20 from 1983 series. And this was the first sequel to Mr. Do. Whereas Mr. Do was a, a dig your own maze kind of game, this is totally different. And this is a good sequel. This is Mr. Do's Castle. And there were two major different cabinets that I'd seen in arcades. And there's one, and there's the uh, uh, regular universal styled one. I'd seen both. But uh, this game was uh, totally different in terms of gameplay. Instead of digging your own maze, you have multiple floors in a castle that you move about. And Mr. Dude does not have his Powerball from the first game. This time around, he has a giant mallet. And what he does is he breaks loose floorboards of each floor on the castle. And he tries to squish monsters with the blocks and the monsters are called unicorns and no they're not the beautiful uh, mythical beasts uh, that are horses with uh, horns on their heads no these are monsters and they are out to get Mr. Do if they uh, catch Mr. Do he's a goner uh, note that uh, the cherries are back but they are in the blocks cherries were in Mr. Do and Mr. Do could eat them. Here they're in these blocks. And early on in the game, this is this is kind of what I don't like about Mr. Do's castle. Early on in the game, the game allows you to smack a monster on the head if it's standing on a block and kill it. And that will uh, that will uh, be an easy way to uh, take out the monsters. But later on in the game, the game decides to uh, subvert its own rules, and you can't do that anymore. There's a couple things in that vein that that occur in this game that I don't like. But other than that, this is a fun game. It's a little bit harder than Mr. Do, I think. Actually, a good deal harder. But there are uh, cherry blocks, and you can end the level by by uh, knocking out all the cherry blocks, but that's really hard to do. Um, there are skull blocks, and you can take out uh, a whole section of blocks that way if you kill both or break both of those. And then there's key blocks. If you break all three key blocks, then you can collect this shield icon, and then you can turn the, turn the tables on the monsters. They will turn into the letter monsters for Mr. Do. And um, when they're the letter monsters, you can touch them without dying. You can go right through them, but they will retreat, and then you want to crush the letter monsters to spell extra, just like in Mr. Do. And you see the flags that are trying to spell out extra. You just try to uh, destroy all the monsters that say E, X, T, R, and A. Your mallet against the regular monsters is completely ineffective by itself. Yeah, see, I could smack a monster on the head while it's standing on a block and kill it. But that won't work later on. I think that's starting, like, scene three, like right here, that so you can't do that anymore, and that's kind of stupid. Now, right now, we have red monsters. But eventually, we will see the appearance... Oh, that was good. I took out two at once. Later on, we will see the appearance of green monsters, which are faster. And eventually... Ooh, that was close. Eventually, we'll see blue monsters. And note that there are staircases, and you can push the top of the staircase away to keep monsters from following you that way. Ooh, and you also have the uh, free credit diamond in Mr. Do's castle, like in Mr. Do. I do not... I, I think it's completely random how it shows up in this game. There was a trick to do it in Mr. Do with the first game, but I don't think you get the... You don't get a way to do that in uh, Mr. Do's castle. You just have to get lucky. But I got lucky, and it gives you an extra game. Yikes!
<laughs> but yeah, you see, you can press the top of the the uh, staircase, and then that'll keep the monsters from following you that way. Monsters get faster and faster and faster as the game wears on. That shield icon will be there forever. So you don't have to scramble to touch it unless you got monsters hot on your heel. And now we have one of the green monsters that's faster, more dangerous. And the T, the T that I need is way at the bottom. The uh, effect of the uh, shield icon is generally way too short in this game. That's another thing that kind of annoys me. Yeah. Another thing that you can't do anymore is break both of the skull blocks and uh, have a monster walk on that bridge and die when you break the uh, second skull block. You could do that earlier in the game. You can't do it anymore. That's really stupid. I don't like that about this game. It can be easy to be trapped by the monsters because they are... Uh, they get clever later on in the game. They know when you're trying to trap them or, or get, them, uh, get them caught under blocks or something or whatever. Yeah, that's the way you're going to have to kill the monsters from now on. Or uh, by breaking the uh, three key blocks and then going to the top and uh, killing them when they become litter monsters. Yeah, you're... Your mallet by itself is no good against the monsters. And do not get yourself trapped on the bottom floor. Because you will be screwed. And you, you can be screwed on the top floor too. Um, unless you've got the, the shield icon appearing. You can see it uh, appear bit by bit as you uh, collect or uh, break each uh, key block. Enjoyed your uh, Columbus Day weekend. I got a four day weekend because I had use it or lose it time at work, and so I took Tuesday off. But yeah, when the, the shield icon appears, uh, I missed him. When the shield icon appears, that shield will be there, you know, until you touch it. You get more and more points for uh, getting it. Ooh, and I'm, am I gonna get that T? Oh my god, I just. Just got it in time before he changed back. And I got an extra Mr. Do. But, um, you will hear a sound effect, and the screen will change color slightly when, uh, when the, uh, power of the shield is about up. And the monsters will change back from, uh, letter monsters to regular monsters. Now, there is one monster that we did not see yet, or a color of monster that we did not see yet, and it is blue, and it is the fastest and most dangerous. If you take too long to beat a level, then the monsters can change into blue monsters, and then they can start, oh, like here, and then they can start multiplying eventually into a lot more monsters. They will become super fast and super deadly. But if you die, then they change back to their uh, original color, which is unfortunate. Uh, he's getting fast. Unfortunately, I got him. And he will be uh, worth multiple uh, bonuses, uh, a bonus multiplier of points when you kill him. Yeah, you can't uh, smack them on the head when they're standing on a block and kill them. That's stupid that the game makes that that change. But I still uh, I still enjoy this game. This had a terrific ColecoVision port. Oh crap! <laughs> I remember first seeing this at 7-Eleven. This is uh, this was a lot of fun. I remember getting Slurpees, getting uh, little little cheap candies, and playing Mr. Do. Uh, uh, Mr. Do's Castle, excuse me. Mr. Do, I first saw it at, 
at a uh, very small arcade back in the day. The arcade did not last very long. Oh, that was close. The monsters seem to sometimes stop and back up a little bit. It's, it's kind of hard to predict their behavioral pattern sometimes. Now the players that uh, the players that get really good at this game and can marathon it, they will um, they will let the monsters turn blue, and you know the fast ones, and they will uh, kill them over and over for for extra points and uh, bonus multiplier points. But I'm not I'm not nearly that good, and I'm. I get really uh, afraid of them when they're when they're blue. Yeah, that's stupid that you can't you can't squish them when they're standing on blocks anymore. And you ah crap. And you can't uh, uh, kill them when they're standing on the bridge when you break both uh, skull blocks. But you could do that uh, before stage three. Yep, and now they're gonna split up into uh, tougher uh, blue monsters. Crap. And note, note, I didn't mention this, but you can tell by now, the monsters will fill their own holes. If they fall in a hole, they will fill it up with a block. It will not be a cherry block, it'll be a, uh, a blank block. Whoops. But they will eventually get themselves out of the hole and leave that blank block there. See, they're, they're uh, a lot more clever now. I'll try to get them to fall in the hole. There we go. The higher up that you drop a block on a monster, like if there's multiple... Uh, multiple holes in a column on top of each other, the more points you will get. And you can get uh, more points by squishing two monsters at once. If you can do that, that's great. Yikes, get away. Uh, am I going to get any? No, of course not. Damn it. Well, that was my game of Mr. Do's Castle. Yeah, check out the ColecoVision port if you've uh, never played it. It's very, very good. But that is my game of Mr. Do's Castle. This was created by Universal in 1983, and this is game number 11 in our 20 from 1983 series. I hope you enjoyed my uh, flashback to the year 1983. Uh, in a moment, we're going to take a look at... Um, I think it was... Uh, yeah, that's what it's like when you uh, break all the cherry blocks to end a level. But that was uh, Mr. Deuce Castle, created by Universal in 1983, game number 11 in our 20 from 1983 series. Well, I thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for game number 10 with a brand new intro. Bye, folks! Come out.